Uh, my name is Michael Yang. I'm the senior product manager in uh, Enrisu uh, in Morgan Hill. And uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to do a trip offset short calibration method. And I'm going to give you three examples. Uh, one is optimum uh, offset uh, lenses. The other one is if you choose the wrong offset lenses, what to expect. And third one is uh, you can design your own cal kit such that satisfy the boundary condition of the equations. So this one I will show you. Uh, this is our uh, VNA MS46522B uh, extension. Uh, the module is the E-band WR12. So over here I'm going to show you how to do the triple offset shorts, one port uh, measurement um, using a waveguide. Uh, cal kit and then here uh, is very is good exercise. I always put the extension over here uh, to connect from module uh, to th where the uh, reference plane is gonna be. Okay, so I have uh, three different offset lengths. The first one is uh, uh, as I mentioned before the optimum length, which is uh, 2.0, and then this is uh, 2.8 millimeter, and this is 3.3.6 millimeter. Okay, so uh, I kind of do the sh uh, short first. So uh, always good to uh, to align up with this line pin over here, and make sure you line them properly. Uh, okay, and then uh, you put the uh, sh shorts over here. Okay, and it's always good exercise uh, to tighten up. The way I tighten up is using a, is a, is a clip. Okay, so uh, I make sure I tighten the nicely over here. It's a little bit uh, difficult to do, but uh, it's always good exercise to tighten this thing so that there's no leakage. Uh, okay. Okay, so once you done that, and then uh, uh, you go to frequency over here, basically it's from 55 gigahertz to 92 gigahertz. And the number of points, I put of 1601. Okay, and then uh, once I set that, I go to calibration. And the calibration, I select the uh, menu cal, which is one port cal, and the modify. This is gonna be Trip offset shorts and waveguide, and I did the cal parameter. Uh, WL12 is already there, and uh, I only do the port, test port one calibration. If you look at the waveguide information over here, it's exactly two millimeter, two point eight millimeter, two point six millimeter for three different offset lengths. Okay, so I'm doing uh, port one reflection devices. So right now, the, this is offset short one. So I click first one. Okay, and then uh, I uncl unclip this. So I put the second one. So over here, you have a pin to line up. So make sure you line up properly. And then you put the uh, uh, shorts over here. And then make sure you tighten up. So this is the second short. Okay, and then you do the third one, which is 3.6 millimeter. Okay, and to search offset short, and you click OK, and click done. So over here it says COR, that means uh, it's been calibrated correctly. Okay, and then if you look at this one, so you see this is very nicely around the uh, peripheral of uh, Smith chart. So that means it's, it's, it's a good calibration. Okay, and then if you look at the uh, if you look at the log mag over here, display. Uh, so it's pretty line, straight straight line. I, I put a scale, so make sure it's uh, one dB. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice and clean, right? So that's pretty good calibration for short uh, for uh, three uh, three point six millimeter shorts. Let's look at the DR two.
tighten, tighten up, very important. You see, it's very clean. And then you flick the Smith charts. Yeah, it's always on the peripheral of the ring. So that means it's good calibration. Let's look at the uh, two, two, uh, two millimeter. Okay, see it's nicely uh, peripheral, and you look at the uh, you look at the uh, log mag. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's not too bad. Okay, so that means it's all pretty good offsets. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, next one I'm going to show you is the wrong uh, uh, offset lenses. So I select like two uh, two millimeter, two point eight millimeter. And the shorts, so it's a zero, zero uh, line one zero. Okay, I'm gonna show you uh, what to expect from the uh, calibration triple offset. Okay, so okay over here, um, uh, I select menu key, I select port one, one port calibration, and then over here I go to uh, triple offset with guide and edit. So over here, since this uh, user defined, so I'm gonna select the user defined uh, cal kit and look at here. And uh, I already have it defined over here before, so 0 to 2.8 millimeter. Okay, so uh, let's do that. Let's do, do the calibration. Okay, only do port 1. Okay, and then go back and do port 1 calibration. So over here, I'm going to put the short line 1, since it's flashy short, so I just put the uh, short over here. Uh, make sure I tighten them up. Okay, so over here, I go to a uh, Smith chart. Okay, and then I do calibration, manual kill, one pro kill, reflection. So short one is flash shorts. Okay, and then I do a uh, two millimeter. So here. So put two millimeter offsets. And using clip to tighten up. Okay, and then I do the offset shorts, line two. Okay, and then uh, I go to a uh, Line three, which is uh, two point eight millimeter. And then to line three. Okay, it's all done. I click done. Okay, so uh, if you look at here, you see over here, this is, looks abnormal, right? So that means it's not very good cal. cal. And then if you look at the uh, log mag, you see over here, uh, if I go scale to one, you see over here, this is called singularity. So that's something uh, is not correct. So this just tell you this is bad cal kit. Okay, so uh, in case you need to create your, your own calculator or you have a certain uh, offset lens available and uh, you want to make sure this uh, whether it's a good uh, triple offset calculator. So uh, over here, I select uh, three different offsets. One is uh, uh, two millimeter and the, this one is uh, 2.65 millimeter and uh, 3.6 uh, 3 meter. So let's see how good this uh, calculator are. Okay, so I put the first one, two millimeter. I, I click 
Clip Clamp per Arm. Okay. Okay, this is the, uh, uh, your own design cal kit. So uh, go to menu cal over here. And then one port calibration, so modify, so trip offset, wave guide. And over here, you have your own design, user define. So over here, I enter already two, sent two millimeter for line one, offset line one, and 2.65 for offset line two, and uh, 3.6 millimeter for offset line three. Okay? So, uh, and then uh, click OK, and you go back and do. Uh, so make sure it's one port calibration, test one port one, so over here, and then you go back and do port one. So this is a short one um, offset, so I click short one. Okay, and then do a short two. Short two is a 2.65 millimeter. Okay, short two. And then the last one would be short three, which is uh, 3.6 millimeter. Okay, click them tight. It's kind of very thick, so it's difficult to line them up on this one. Okay, and then you click uh, on short three. And click OK, click done. So you can see it's very uh, nice. and make a scale to one, one dB. You can see better. You see, nice and clean. And let's look at the Smith charts. It should be all around the uh, parameters. You see, very nice. Let's put the short two. Okay, you can see nice around the peri peripheral and then uh, parameters. And then if you look at the log mag, should be clean. You see, very clean in a straight line. There's no uh, singularity, not like at the one before the spike. Okay, let's look at the short one. Same thing, show why it's a nice and st clean straight line. And let's look at the Smith chart. It should be uh, so called around the uh, perimeters. So, on this experiment, I have shown you three different uh, calibration, uh, trip offset calibration. The first one is the optimal solution, which you use peak at 120 uh, degree for uh, electric lens of A. And then uh, you can come out the uh, uh, optimum lens for line one, for line two, and for line three. And the second example I've shown you is if you pick the wrong uh, offset, and then you, uh, you can see where the defects are uh, by looking at uh, Smith charts. It's going to be off the charts. Uh, or by looking at the uh, log mag on S11 plot, you can see a uh, singularity, which means a spike uh, on certain uh, offset uh, cal kits. The third one, if you need to design your own cal kit, then you just look at the 
uh, uh, pick three, three different offsets and uh, look at the equation. If it satisfies all the boundary conditions, then you know you are in good hand. So that's how I show you on the third experiment. Uh, you have your own design calculate and then you don't see any spikes on log make uh, plots and also the Smith chart is all around the peripher uh, parameters of the uh, of the Smith chart curve. So that in that concludes my uh, experiments uh, of this uh, triple offset uh, uh, cal calculate method. Uh, if you need any further information, you can contact me directly. My email is michal.yang at Thank you.